Um, today I'm going to move you through an intermediate, uh, powerful flow that's really targeting the core. So if you will, just start at the top of your mat. Feet perfectly together here. Eyes closed, hands come to heart center. Roll the shoulders down the back. Straighten the spine here. Lift the chest. Taking big inhales and exhales through the nose. Activating that ujjayi breath. Slight constriction of the back of the throat. Warming the body from the inside out here. Creating that heat we like to build in our practice. It allows us to go deeper into poses. Prevents injury. And slowly open your eyes. Drop your hands to your side. We'll start with three Surya Namaskar A's and two Surya Namaskar B's. Inhale the arms up, palms press. Exhale, fold forward with a flat back. Hands come to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine here. Exhale, hands plant on the mat. Feet step back, lower down into chaturanga or low push-up position. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the chest. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. We'll hold here for five slow breaths. One, pressing the mat away from you strong with the hands here. Two, slight tilt of the pelvis. Hips tilt upwards. Three. Four. Gaze is at the navel or top of the thighs. Five. Inhale. Look forward between your hands. Step or jump to the top of your mat. Exhale. Fold forward. On an inhale, rise, palms press. Exhale, hands to your side. Again, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feet are hip distance apart, about six inches. For one. Two. Aiming for straight legs here, but bent knees are fine. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, come to the top of your mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up with a flat back. Exhale, Samasti Tuhi. Last one. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, shoot it back. Chaturanga, elbows squeeze ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift the quads off the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Finding stillness here. For one. Pressing your chest closer to your thighs. Two.
three. Four. Five. Inhale, look forward. Step or jump to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Go deeper here. You're warming the body. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to your side. Surya Namaskar B. Bend deep into the knees. Sweep the arms up, palms press. Exhale, fold you forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pivot the left heel in, right foot steps forward gently. Arms come up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat, step it back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now pivot the right heel in, step left foot forward. Arms come up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat, step your foot back, try not to drag it, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Holding here for five breaths. Your legs are straight. Maybe challenge yourself. Walk your hands a little bit further up your mat for five. Four. Three. Two, one, inhale, look forward, step or jump, exhale, fold. On the inhale, bend deep into the knees again, arms come up, exhale, samasthi to knee. Last one, bend deep into the knees, inhale, the arms up, exhale, fold forward, folding deeper, belly to thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, shoot it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pivot the left heel in, right foot steps forward gently. Warrior one, bending deep into the right knee. Exhale, hands to the mat, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now pivot the right heel in, left foot steps forward, arms come up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat, step it back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Holding here for five breaths. That's one. Two, three, four, Five, inhale, look between the hands, step or jump forward, exhale, fold. Inhale, bend deep into the knees, arms sweep up, exhale, samasthi tihi. So now we're warmed up, I'd like you to come to the middle of your mat, hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward, lifting the left leg here. Left leg is straight. And now you're going to reach down with your right hand, opening your hips to the left here. Left foot is flexed, left hand comes up. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Holding here for five. Four. 
When you find your balance, try and look up at that left hand. Four. Maybe you can take the right hand off the mat. Three. Two. One. Bring your left hand down. Left foot meets the right. Walk it out here. Inhale the flat back. Come all the way up. Now clasp the fingers, leaving the index finger up, crossing the thumbs. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Feet are perfectly together here. Only come so that you have a flat back. Inhale up, using those glutes to bring you up. Really tightening through the back body and the core. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Some body weight deadlifts here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, using the whole back body to bring you up. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale brings you up. Bring your hands to heart center again. Now we're going to lift the right leg this time. Ardha Chandrasana on the left side. Folding forward, reaching down with the left hand for the mat. Right hand comes up. Hips open to the side here. When you find your balance, looking up at that right hand for five. Four. Three, two, one. Right hand comes down, right foot meets the left. Walk it out here. Now place your hands on the mat, palms to the mat here. Hopefully you can straighten your legs. If not, that's fine. Now if you can straighten your legs, when you do a toe tap to your wrist, try and keep your legs straight the whole time. So we're going to shift our weight forward into our hands slightly, round through the upper back, and toes come to the wrists. Each time, try and keep the legs straight if you have them straight with your palms on the ground. Just back and forth, right and left here. Try and lift up higher. The higher you go on the wrist, the more difficult it becomes. Use your core here, use your quads. We'll do two more sets. So right, left, right, left. Inhale, halfway lift here. Exhale, plant your hands, step it back into Chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, we're going to lift our right foot to the sky on the inhale. Really reaching your heel towards the ceiling. Keeping your hips parallel to the mat. On an exhale, bend the knee. Bring your knee to your nose or maybe even your forehead holding here for five. Four. Three. Two, one, inhale back up. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Inhale up. Now we're going to shift our weight forward. You can either bring your knee to your right tricep and hold here, or maybe bend the elbows coming into Akapada Kundinyasana 2. A little arm balance here for three, two, one. Shoot it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now we'll do the same on this side. So inhale, left heel reaches towards the sky. 
Chest comes closer to your thighs here. Exhale, knee to nose or forehead, shifting the weight forward, shoulders over wrists for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, up. Exhale, left knee to right tricep. Inhale up. This time you can hold left knee to left tricep or bend the elbows here, resting your left leg on top of your left arm. Akapada Kundanyasana 2 for 3, 2, 1. Shoot it back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Your shoulders might be burning here. Give them a little rest. If you need to take, take child's pose, that's fine. For five. Four. Three. Two. One. Shifting the weight forward. Coming into a forearm plank. Holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Now shift the weight over to the left. Coming onto your left foot, right foot stacks on top of the left, right hand on your hip. Little side plank on the forearm here and dip down for one, two, three, four, five, coming back to forearm plank, holding here for five, four, tighten through the core, don't let the hips sag, flow, three, two, one, right side, we'll dip here for one, two, three, four, Five, coming back, forearm plank, last time for five, four, three, two, one, pushing up into a dolphin here, holding here, walking the feet in, and now coming up into a downward facing dog. On an inhale, look between the hands, step or jump forward. Exhale, fold. Now try to wrap your arms around your thighs here, making belly to thigh contact. So you can bend your knees, feel that contact, and then straighten your legs as much as you can, but only until you lose that contact. You wanna keep the contact here. Tipping the weight forward slightly. Feeling the difference in the stretch. And now bending the knees, trying to keep the arms wrapped around, lowering the hips, coming into a seated position, a seated pike here maybe, straightening the legs, if you can, holding here for five, four, three, you're doing good, two, one. Now release the arms coming into a boat pose here. And we're going to extend the right leg, touch the heel to the mat, bring it back up. Left, bring it up, and right. Left, and right. Use your core, don't collapse in the lower back. Left, and right. Left, and right. Now slowly lower down onto your back here. We're going to do some crow crunches. So reach your arms up as if you have your hands on the ceiling. And we'll do a reclined crow here. So bring the 
knees up, knees into triceps, shoulder blades off the mat. You're really rounding through the upper back here. So this would be your crow pose. And to crunch, we're going to straighten the legs, bring them up, lift the hips off the mat, keep the shoulders off the mat the whole time. So it's two, three, four, five, we're doing 10, six, seven, try to bring the knees higher on the triceps, eight, nine, 10, lower down, coming fully onto your back. Now bring your hands to your sides. We're going to work on the obliques here. So inhale the legs up. We'll do some oblique TikToks. So point the toes, slowly drop the legs to the right. Maybe you can bring your feet all the way up to where your hand is. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Slow motion here. Inhale up using the obliques, not the arms, to lift you up. Right side, back through center, and left side. Inhale brings you up. Exhale, right side. Left side. Inhale break, brings you up. Last set, right. Inhale up. Exhale left. Inhale up. Exhale. Slowly lower the legs here. Now bring your left hand to your left thigh. Right leg comes up. Reach and grab the big toe of your right hand with your right hand. Now try and extend that right leg. Trying to get your leg as straight as possible. Exhale, knee to nose. Shoulders off the mat here. Holding here for five. Supta Pada Gustasana. Four. Using the core. Three. Two. One. Exhale, lower the upper body. Now bring your right leg off to the right here. Left hand extends from the shoulder, looking over your left shoulder here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale the right leg back up. Switch hands. So left hand grabs the outside of right foot. Right hand comes to the mat. And lower to the left side here. If you go too far, you won't feel it. So find that happy medium for five. Looking over your right shoulder. Four. Three. Two. One, inhale back through center. Exhale, knee to nose one last time. Inhale, lower the upper body. Exhale, release the foot. Switching sides, right hand to the thigh. Left fingers, grab the left big toe. Extend the leg here. On an exhale, knee to nose for five. Pull with your arm. Really tighten with the abs, four, three, working on compression here, two, one, inhale, lower the upper body, exhale, left foot drops to the left, look up your right shoulder for five, four, three, two, 
one, inhale, come up, switch sides, and exhale, lower down. Only as far as you feel it on through the left side of your leg. If you go too far, you won't feel it for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come up. Exhale, one last time, knee to nose. Inhale, lower the upper body. Exhale, left foot meets the mat. Now let your heels find the outside corners of your mat. Feet fall open. Arms spread wide. Palms up. Eyes closed here. Letting go of that ujjayi breath. Just soft belly breathing here. Thanking your body for what it's done today. Thanking yourself for getting on the mat. Stay here until you feel complete. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.